Hey guys, what's up? I'm Shemit here, and welcome to episode 44 of our Pokemon Glaze ran no, not randomized Pokemon Glaze Nuzlocke challenge. Uh, it's been it's been a weird day for me. <laughs> I keep getting things mixed up. But um, in the last episode, you guys, we made we faced uh, did no, we didn't, no, we didn't. We got through the national park, Goldenrod City, and we finally made our way down to Ilex Forest, and we discovered on the way that Team Fusion have taken over Goldenrod City. They are now burning Ilex Forest to the ground. We see the smoke everywhere, we see the, f the flames, we're seeing all that kind of shenanigans going on, but we are here to stop them. So um, before we dive in and actually do, uh, you know, try and stop them, let's have a very quick team recap. Uh, let's, you know, actually, is that the ROM and all that kind of stuff? So um, very quick team recap for you guys. Out in front we have Petal Armageddon. Um, Hold a Miracle Seed, Power Up That, Leaf Bape, Us, Kind Spore, Body Slam and Cut. Um, Meganium is our wall. It's the only defensive mod we have. It, I love it. Next up we have Sparks out Jolteon, Hole and Magnet, to power up that Thunderbolt, Boss Kind, Shadow Ball, Pin Missile and Quick Attack, and he is a monster. He destroys things. Look at that special attack. Look at that speed. Oh my god, it's fantastic. After that we got Elf our Glalie, Hole and Nevermelt Ice, to power up the Ice Wind and the Ice Beam, but also carrying Crunch and Headbutt. Um you know, just a decent, decent all-round attacker, which is very nice to have on the team. After that, we got Shadow or Gengar holding a spell attack to power up that Shadow Ball, boss carrying kind of Thunderbolt, Giga Drain, and Confuse Ray. Still dying to get Sludge Bomb on that thing, but haven't got it just yet. After that, we got Victory or Victini, who's our newest member on the team, holding experience shared to get it up for everybody else, carrying Focus Energy, sac Sacred Fire, Flade Throw, and Headbutt. And then. Last but not least is Tubbs, our float star, team captain, the oldest member of the, on, the, on the team, holding the Mystic War to power up that surf boss, carrying Rock Smash, Crunch, and Leaf Blade. He is just so, 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 so good. How this guy, he's just he's just lived for so long. He's so, so good. I love him. I love him. But anyways, without further ado, oh, this is our first encounter, encounter here. This is our first encounter, and it is a Butterfree, which we already caught. So I'm just going to run away from that. No need to capture that. We already caught a Butterfree. But uh, yeah, we get encounters there. That's pretty slick. Oh, this is another one. Let's see what we got. It's another Butterfree. We can just we we'll just run away from that. But we have this Grunt up here, so let's battle him. Team Fusion uh, always wins. <laughs> dying from the smoke. Dying from the smoke. Dying from your own flames, man. That's what you're doing. A Drudge would like to battle. Since that was Samurai, that's a perfect matchup for our Petal. Perfect matchup. Let's go for the Spore. Let's put this guy to sleep and we just go straight up for the leaf blade and let's just cripple him cripple him go on go on my son go on petal with a critical hit killing things already it's too early in the episode for that man too early in the episode for that destroying things and victory gets level as well which is fantastic and team fusion george was defeated i lost the battle but we will win in the end oh uh, you know dying for a cause man you gotta admire that at the very least by another encounter, it is another Butterfree, which we... God, come on, give me something else. Let's keep running uh, r run along here anyways, see what, what way we have to go. Do we go down here? No, we don't. We're, we're blocked off by that. And we don't want to run into the fire anyways, because we burn. Um, oh, there's an item there. Can we get the item? Stop, right there. Don't move. <laughs> come on, come at me. Come at me, son. Come at me. Team Fusion George would like to battle since on Ambipom. Alright, okay, I can I can deal with deal with that. Let's go for the spore. Let's put this thing to sleep. Come on. Come at me. Leaf blade, let's do it. Come on, you're going down, Ambipom, you're going down. Oh he lived it. He lived it. Let's go for one more leaf blade. Come on, you're you're dead. You're done. You're done. Beautiful, beautiful. And no damage taken here, which is what you want. Next up is the Clefable. Let's switch. Let's switch for that. Clefable. I hate Clefable so much. Like so much. I hate, despise Clefable. Um, let's go into Gengar. I think Gengar would be the best fit because it resists Clefable's stab. Uh, let's go for the Shadow Ball. Come on. Kill this thing. Kill this thing. Oh, Coat. I Metronome. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare do something. Aura Sphere. Easy. Easy. Easy, easy, metronome. Get out of here with your shenanigans. Get out of here with your finger wagon. Get out of here. Not dealing with your nonsense. Yeah, <laughs> get out of here. Get out of here, son. 
Team Fusion always wins. Always wins. Can I get this item up here? Ah, oh, come on. That's just annoying. I am right there and I can't get it. That's just downright annoying. Right, what's this thing? That's another Butterfree. Come on, you gotta give me something better than Butterfree. There has to be something else. This whole place is on fire. Oh, here's another judge. About time. I don't think anyone would come into a burning forest. Well, here I am. I'm a crazy, 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 crazy guy. Crazy guy. Running over trade tracks, all that kind of stuff. Actually, why are we here? Why are we here? You know, um, I would like to give a shout out to the Extreme Arcanine. Links in the description down below. Uh, he gave me a few points about the thumbnail because uh, I, because he, like he mentioned that you know, thumbnail has been pretty the same because this is a long series. It's been a long series, and he said you know thumbnail been pretty much the same throughout. And he gave me a few suggestions about how to edit, uh, 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 change it up and all that. And he gave me um, a template for what to do. And uh, that's the reason why you're actually seeing a new thumbnail for this episode. And um, I'm going to be converting the rest, the rest of what I have into um, the rest of the other episodes into different thumbnails as well, um, because it, it just looks, it, it, in my eyes, it looks better anyway. So, um, who shout out to him uh, for um, helping me out with that? Um, very much appreciate, because uh, you know, more thumbnails. Because the idea is it'll attract more people to watch the videos and all that. And um, you know that's kind of you know that's what you want you know you know you know it's uh, have people come watch yourself you know watch your videos check you out all that kind of stuff you know you know what I mean you know what I mean but um who shout out to him for uh, helping me out um you know very much appreciate and please check him out his link is down in the description um it's down in the description below there we go there we go um but I do plan on kind of I like, kind of like raising the bar on the graphics on the channel just a little bit um I think the monotype videos definitely need um, a sprucing up I think the thumbs there I uh, like I did at the start like with the design because I thought it was easy and it looked decent um, but I do think that they kind of do need um they do need a little bit of an oomph they do need to be kind of just pushed a little bit more that's a beedrill we don't have a beedrill do we I don't think we do we don't so we're gonna have to we're catching this this is our encounter beedrills our encounter Beedrill is our encounter. Fantastic. Let's drop a let's drop an ultra ball on this thing. Ultra ball. Let's go. Let's do it. Ultra ball. Come on. Come on, Beedrill. Join us. Join us. Join us. Come on. Come on. It wakes up and it starts raging at me. Come on. I know. I know. You're not a morning person, but don't take it out on me when you wake up early. Just don't. It's so mean. Um. Oh no, what was it doing? Alright, let's go for another spore. Oh god. I'm wasting all my spores here, it's not a good idea. Oh come on, get in the Pokeball, will you? Come on, come on. This is it, this is it. This is gonna be the one. Come on. I don't wanna hit this. Oh actually hold on, cut! This thing shouldn't this shit this thing Actually, this thing is frail. Vitras are frail. No. We're not going to touch it. I'm nearly 20 levels above it. I am not touching this thing with a cut. Yeah? Yes. Beautiful. Beedrill. Beedrill was caught. Fantastic. Beedrill's data was added to the Pokedex. Extremely territorial. For safety reasons, no one should ever poach its nest. If angered, they will attack in a swarm. Well, I am definitely going to nickname you. Um, I'm going to nickname you what I actually have started to really call my Beedrills nowadays. And that is um, B... Uh, what is it? B... Where's the where's the A? Be advised. B A D. Where's it? Come on, B B. Come on, B I S. Because I started calling it B advised because you know when Mega Mega Beetle is like pretty lethal, like and it just fits. Yes, because Mega Beetle is pretty lethal, like so. Um, I, I and it's a nice pun and all that, you know. So I said, you know, be advised. We gotta be careful, you know, that kind of stuff. Um. Let's keep Pell out in front just a little bit longer. Oh, nope. We have another encounter. It's a Beedrill. Let's run away. What's going on this way? What the hell is going on? I'm trying to figure out what's going on in this forest. It's weird because it's in flames. And before I can talk to your man, we get an encounter. Burn, burn, forest, burn! Okay, he's a little bit... He, okay, maybe he's not that crazy. Maybe he's not that crazy, but in my eyes, he was that crazy. And we get all these encounters. Screw it. 
Where's my Max Repel? I don't wanna don't wanna deal with wild Pokemon anymore. Where's my Max Repel? Thank you. Thank you very much. Because I don't know where I'm walking, so it's very difficult. Um Yeah, actually I don't want to keep Petal out in front anymore because his PP is getting down. I'm gonna go with Elf out in front, because Elf's new. We haven't really seen Elf so far. So I'm gonna run out with Elf. And we just battled her. Did we just battle her? Oh, she just didn't challenge us. That, that, that got that gave me a moment of confusion. I'm not gonna lie, to you guys. So up against a judge. So she sends out a Jolteon. That's no sparks. That's just that's no sparks. Get out of here. Um, you have pathetic physical defense. So I'm gonna crunch you. No T wave. Don't T wave me. Come on. You're dead. You're done. You're done. You're done. Get out of here. Oh, come on. Pin missile. Pin missile! Come on! Keep throwing them pins at me. Keep throwing them. Come on. I am a body made of ice. Just keep throwing your pins at me. Go on. I'm an ice wall, son. <laughs> I don't break. I will break against the Flareon, though. So I am going to switch out and go into Tubbs. Because Tubbs is my boy. Tubbs is my boy. I'm just going to go straight up for the surf. And I'm going to guess that it's going to be uh, Vaporeon last but not least. Which is, which I'm just making a safe, safe guess that's going to be Vaporeon. Yeah. Um, I am going to go into Petal Law and get, and get the, and give Petal the level up. That's what I'm going to do. Um, just go straight for the Leaf Blade. No need for Spore. Because I'm a bit scared because I'm pretty sure we have a boss fight up here and I do want Spore. Just in case it gets a little bit, a little bit hairy, if you, if you know what I mean. Let's go straight off for the cut. Finish off this Vaporeon. It didn't get a chance to set up his physical defense in time. Is it's done, and we get the stats, man. We get the stats. We get the level. It's beautiful. Victory gets another level, which is better. Reversal. Uh, I'm sure. Learn. Get rid of focus energy because I'm not going to be using focus energy. I never really use focus energy, if I'm being honest. <sighs> so we, we beat the drudge, which is nice, which is very, very nice. I am going to heal up my, um, my, uh, what you call it, my Lely, because it's paralyzed at the moment. I, let's press on a little bit further. Oh, here we go, here we go. Winnie, I don't know who the hell you, I don't know who the hell you are, but stop this right now. <laughs> <laughs> Two gym leaders and a kid are going to stop me. That's cute. Burn, burn. Come on, you stupid fairy. Save your forest. All right, that's enough, Regina. Listen, people are getting hurt. The silent hero speaks. If you want me to quit, why don't you just come and stop me? Here we go. Here we go. We're battling. The two, the, the, the two boyos, the two gym leaders behind me decide, oh, we won't do anything. And, you know, I'm the one. I'm the one that's step up. Well, to be fair, I actually can't complain. I, I did win the I did win the league. I did win the the two and odd league, so I can't really complain. I should I should I should just bite my tongue. But it'd be nice with three v one, like you know why don't why doesn't the good guys just gang up on the bad guys once in a while? What's this Zorak playing at? What is this Zorak playing at? Get out of here with your calm mind shenanigans. I'm going to ice beam. Freeze, freeze. I'm actually I'm a bit scared of the flamethrower here. I'm not gonna lie, but he would have gone for the flamethrower first if he did. He withdraws the Zorak, goes out into Agron. Ooh, now that is scary. That is scary. But we get the critical hit. Do we get? The, we don't get the freeze though. I, I I was asking for too much. I was asking for too much. Um, let's go into Tobbs. I think Tobbs should be able to take one hit and and get the Oko metal sound. Ah, oh, that's too easy. But to be fair, I'm actually glad. I'm glad I got the safe switch. We're going to surf. Watch this Agron away. Get out of here, son. Get out of here. Get out of here, Agron. Elf gets a bit of XP. Victory gets a bit of XP. Tubbs gets a bit of XP. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, next up, we have a Kelkion. 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 Um, Kelkion would be... Actually, I think Tubbs would be a good bet against Kelkion. I think I'll stay in with Tubbs, go for the Rock Smash, because it'll be super effective. And that does half. And he turns into a fighting type. 
and it goes for substitute. Alright. And then goes for You're you're annoying me now, Regina. You're annoying me with your with your substitute setups, your Telekeons. Yeah substitute faded. Another rock smash, let's go, let's do this. Gimme Oh yeah, because he's fighting type now. It's not super effective. We we do get the D drop though, which is nice. Um I think I'll just go for Leaf Blade. Don't see why I shouldn't. He's minus one defense. This is physical. I just pick up the win. <gasps> he lives. He lives on one, but he can't get the substitute off, which is beautiful. So I'm just going to go for another Rock Smash. Finish off this Kalkion. Done. We're done. We get a bit of XP. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. He's going to go into his Ditto. Let's go into our Gengar. Pretty sure we'll outspeed the Ditto. We'll finish it off with a Shadow Ball. Oh, he has to transform. He has to transform first turn. Uh, let's go for the Thunderbolt then. Change our Shadow Ball will be effective. Let's go for the Thunderbolt and then, let's, then we'll go for the Shadow Ball. Or not. Or not. Or not. Or not. We just finish off the Ditto and all caught. Fair enough. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. A Bayonet. Let's stay in. Let's finish this Bayonet off. Let's finish this bayonet off. Let's go straight for the shadow ball. We can kill this thing. We are power. We are powerful. This is not a mega bayonet. This is weak. Get in, my son. Go on, shadow. Get in there, my son. Get a bit of XP. 34. Fantastic. Fantastic. And then the Zorak is left. Oh, that's... It's easy peasy. Easy peasy. Um, I'm going to go into Sparks. I just want to be able to speed it and finish it off. I thought this would be a lot trickier, because last time we played Team Fusion, there was D-Dance and Salamence is knocking around. You know, I was a bit worried, and I had, you know, I was a bit afraid, but... You know what, something? It's alright. It's all good. Maybe I should have gone for the Thunderbolt here and just finished it off. I'm just... Bring, I'm just ag making it more ag ag agonising, but... We got the win. We got the win. We got the W. Down goes the Zorak. Well done. Well done. Well done, guys. Drat. Beautiful. Oh no. Ho oh, ho, you hear that? You're too late. Come on, Salami. What have you done to my beautiful forest? Who is responsible for this? You know what I want, Salami. I know you have the Aurora Orb. Give it to me and we'll leave your precious forest. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have any sort of orb. You're lying. Burn the forest to the ground. Regina, don't hurt Celebi. Stop it. Last chance, Celebi. Give me what I want now, or I'll say goodbye to your precious forest. Whee! Oh my god. What? How? Jasmine, I... I've heard Celebi could time travel, but I didn't know it was true. At last, the Aurora Orb. Celebi, take us back now, and the forest will be left in peace. I have no need to burn the forest anymore. I've got what I need. Take us back now. <laughs> what just happened? You vanished for maybe a second. How could you take advantage of Celebi like that? It didn't deserve any of this. Ha! Our plan is nearly complete. You may have won our little battle, but Team Fusion wins in the end. We're done here. Ta-ta, Ayush. Come on. Pardon me for eavesdropping, but did you mention Salami? Uh, 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 who are you? I'm certain you did. Please come with me. You must. It must be Arceus. Arceus's will. Not to you sly. Wait, I. Well, that was odd. That guy. Do you know him? Pious? Well, he gives me the creeps. Hopefully he'll be, he'll be quick. Jasmine hates being with strangers. I guess there's nothing else we could do here. Oh, I know. You must come to the gym with me. Come on, hurry up. What gym? I'm all I'm I, I'm I'm all confused. I'm all sorts of confused. Which gym is she on about? Can I go down to the, uh, to Zeta Town? I'm hoping I can. I'm just going to register a Zeta Town here, and then I think I can go back to Goldenrod. Is that right? I can. I'm keeping her outside in Goldenrod now. Huh. Huh. 
Huh. Interesting. Interesting stuff. Very interesting stuff. We have so much open to us at the moment, it is frightening. Like, we have... Goldenrod City. Azalea Town. We have... We still have to get the badge over in Olivine City, past there somewhere. It's a little bit confusing. Did she mean this gym? I think this is the gym she was on about. Or did she mean... Did she mean... I don't know what gym she's on about. I really don't. I really don't. I don't want to be challenging gyms. Oh, repels effect wore off. That's fine. That's fine. Did she mean the other gym? The one I just I was just in in um, what's it? Olivine City. It's Cinewood. 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 We got the it, it's overpass Cinewood that we have to get a, the gym badge. Was it here? No. I am definitely confused. I am 100% confused. Maybe it is Golden Rod because that's where Whitney used to be. So I'm going to try Golden Rod. Although we ha we need to explore the rest of Golden Rod City now that it's <gasps> now that it's free and open. Um, that's the go that's the un underground. Let's go have a talk to Bill. Actually, I see he might give us something now that we got rid of the threat. I'm Bill. Have you heard of me? I'm an acclaimed Pokemaniac. I invented a po PC system and a teleportation device outside of my home. If you like, feel free to read the books in my study. No, no, I'm not. I'm not feeling that. I'm not feeling that. I've, I've read enough book, uh, books to study in my lifetime. Have you visited the game corner yet? It's great, great fun trying to win prizes there. All right, I think we we do a bit of exploring around Goldenrod City. Hey kid, if you want to play out, you need a coin case. Oh, we got a coin case just like that. I was wondering. I don't particularly want to play games here. I'm not going to lie. I just want to get the coin case and get out. Um. Have you visited the department store yet? They have a great assortment of stuff. Every trainer ought to go there. But yeah, we were there in a previous episode. The trade building wasn't here when I was here last. I hear they have lots of trainers eager to trade there. Actually, I want to go check that out. Some Pokemon have a very special ability. It might be the only one of a species that has it. Ah, like the hidden abilities, you know. I need my old eyes off the tr their tricks again. It looks like there's an island on the horizon, but I've never seen it before. That Mirage Island wasn't, wasn't, wasn't um, in Gen 2, was it? But this is the trade building anyway, so let's have a chat around. I'm sorry, I, I only speak English. Oh, you speak English too. There are many people around here who don't speak English. Though, oh, they're all over the world. Hey man, do me a favor. Let's do a trade, okay? My Machoke, you're my cargo. Let's go. I don't have a cargo, I'm so sorry. Hello, hello, welcome to the trade building. I created this place so trainers around the world may trade Pokemon. Please enjoy yourself here. Fair play to him. There's so many different kinds of people here. While I love the diversity, I just can't understand so many different languages. I'm waiting to see... Is that Professor Oak? Hondoom for Graveler. No, I don't have a Hondoom. Sorry. What? I, I don't speak French. Snubble for his Kadabra. I don't have a Snubble. So this is where we can get all the... Like, like the trade evolutions, is it? Professor Oak is so amazing. Did you know he has his own radio show? I did not. It's a Pokeball. Okay, so we can't just pick him up. Let's have a chat with him. Oh my, if it isn't Irish, do you remember me? I'm Professor Oak. I was just doing a seminar to these fine young men and women on the Kanto region. Say, this gives me a grand idea. Would you like a Kanto starter? Yes, I would. I would indeed. I would indeed. Um, So I can get... Venusaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. Now, I have loads of water types, and I have Victory and Typhlosion as fire types at the moment. So, and I don't, I don't have any other grass types bar Chicory at the moment. So, I know a lot of people will be screaming for Charizard and Blastoise, but for the sake of practicality, I am going to go for Bulbasaur just because if something God forbid happens to Petal, I at least have some backup in the grass type department. Yes, I would like to choose Bulbasaur. Oh, I have to get... I have to pass that Pokemon in the party. Fair enough, fair enough. I'll do it, I'll do it. Uh, we'll move Petal. Because for me, it's just it just makes more sense. Like, I've no other grass types. Like, look, I've another fire type there. I've, I've got an Arcanine as well. I, you know, in the back. Come on. And I've loads of water types. And I've no grass types. So for me, I, it has to be Bulbasaur. It just has to be Bulbasaur. Yes, thank you. And we got ourselves a Bulbasaur. Beautiful. I wouldn't like to nick nickname it Bulbasaur. I like to nickname it... Uh, wait, 
come here, come here. I like to nickname it Brute Root, because for me, when I, you remember in the very first uh, Pokemon movie, it was called, uh, a guy had a Venusaur and he called it Brute Root, and I was like, that is such a cool name, nickname. Like, I was like, that is a really good nickname. And I, and I just, I've just never called, I've just called um, Bulbasaur Brute Root and Blastoise Shellshock ever since. Oh my, I completely lost track of time. I need to get to the radio station. Sorry, we couldn't chat longer. See you around, Irish. But for me, I, you know, I just thought, like, as the, it, that is like the best, um, like for me, like, um, I, I just thought those nicknames. I, I just lost my, um, my, uh, I was level th twenty sound, but I just lost, my, I just lost my train of thought there. But uh, for me, I thought um, those nicknames were just beautiful. They were really, really good. They like they, they suited the Pokemon fantastically well. So I was like, yeah, why not? I'm waiting for an event to be released. I want to be the first one to get it. Oh, fair enough. Some Pokemon come with me from the events. You can pick them up here. Oh, there aren't any events running yet, but don't worry, there will be soon. Come on, come on, don't be teasing us like that. That's mean. Give us the free mons, you know. Give us the free mons. You gotta love free Pokemon. Uh, let's go into the radio station. Let's see what's going on. Welcome to the Goron Radio Tower. Hold on. Let's go back in. Let's go back in. Let's not be too hasty. Team Rocket broke into this wonderful radio tower. The recent takeover by Team Fusion only brought back those bad memories. We are we are having a promotion today. Answer five questions correctly and we reward you with the radio app for the Poke Gear Plus. Oh, you don't have our Poke Gear Plus. What a shame. Well, she just rubbed that in. Uh, here's the train station. Nobody comes this way to or from Kanto anymore. It's all very d disheartening. The Mango train isn't making trips to Kanto. A large portion of the line has been blocked by the breeze from the recent eruption in Mount Silver, that is. Look, boy, I'm the creator of this hack, and I decided to come into my game and give some trivia about the game. Would you like to listen? Yes, we have the creator with his own character in the game. Awesome, I want to listen to this. Golden Rod City was one of the more challenging cities uh, to create. There are many different types of buildings I needed, and a tile set only holds so much. Now, for you guys who um, uh, I try, like I, I messed around with like ROM hacks before with editing, and the tile set is pretty much the um, do you know the one you see on a GBA game? It's like it, like all is uh, like every single like the tile would be like a part of the image in that room or in that area. So that's what he means by tile set. It's just like part of the image, and you match them all up. It's it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's really it's really fun way of doing it. Like if you have the time, definitely go. It's it's cool. It's cool playing around with it. But I sadly just couldn't get my head around it fully. I end up running out of pallets, which is why the gate houses are coloured differently. I think it was ultimately worth it. The gate houses look pretty nice in their new colour anyway. Was that it? Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's all it is. Okay. Well, that was pretty interesting to hear about it anyways. That was really interesting. I keep hoping one day they will clear the line, but it'll be a long time before then. Ah, oh, that sucks. I kind of want to go into Kanto. really want to go into Kanto. Kanto's so cool. Guess what Pokemon the one next to me is? That is a Mudkip. Ah! Oh! Hey, nope. It's actually a Zorak. Hehehe. <laughs> you chance, sir. Yeah, yeah. You're fooling yourself. I came home and found those hooded thugs all over the place. What a vacation this turned out to be. <laughs> Are you liking your visit to Golden Rod? I'm liking a lot more now that we got rid of the, the boys. The bike shop is closed down. This means I have to walk everywhere now. God. Door's been locked tight. Yeah, it's totally shut down. Yeah, poor chap has to walk. I feel sorry for you, bud. Actually, I should. I got mentioned before. <laughs> so I mentioned it previously. I should look both ways and see if the train is clear. But there is no train anymore, so I'm just gonna go to YOLO and across it. We've been to the underground. What's this place? Name rater. We. That's fine. We've been. We've had. We have a name rater already. We know what that is. Thank God. Our city's been over taken over twice. We're in quite a bad reputation. Yeah, guys, you need to bring in some some sort of defense. Do you talk? You 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 don't talk. You're a mute. Okay, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Sleek, shiny bullet trains used to run back and forth, but not anymore. And you are the flower shop. All right. Welcome to Goldman Flower Shop. May I, how may I help you? And we can buy a bunch of berries. Ah, that's nice. The oh, hold on. They seem to be below. Yeah, they they're the um they're the uh, what's called EV editing um berries, which is pretty handy if you want to. 
yeah, if you want to fine tune your Pokemon, you know, fine tune it. Route 34 has a daycare for Pokemon. If you leave a Pokemon there, you might return to find its level increased. Yep, that's true. Very scary things happen at the daycare when you leave two Pokemon. Very scary. Oh my god, the poor guy has been scared for life. <laughs> scared for life. Oh, I feel so bad for him. I feel so bad for him. But, um... Yeah, I'm going to wrap up there today. I think in the next episode we'll venture into this gym. And we, I am assuming Whitney will be in here. I'm assuming. Um, it's, I have to figure out what we have to do next. In the, next, Because um, we have a Zayla Town to fig uh, figure out. And then we have an encounter then in the... In the, in the route after Azalea Town towards Violet City. The cave out there as well. Um, that connects Azalea Town to Violet City. And then we can kind of go through that cave and go to the ruins at Valve. And get a better encounter up there. So we have a few things that we need to do as well. Um, I think I'll try and clear this place out first. Then go to Azalea Town and clear that out. And then go to... And then kind of continue out west. Where I was in Johto, try and continue, or not, yeah, continue west down in Johto, clear out Simon City, and there's a bit of extra there, a bit extra there to clear out, and hopefully I can kind of, you know, uh, we get, we can kind of get on a bit more of a path, path in this, um, in this LP, because it's, we, we've kind of been shuffling all over the place now all of a sudden, but um, yeah, I'm gonna wrap up there today, folks. If you like today's video, please click the like button down below for me, you guys. If you uh, have any comments on the video or anything you'd like to say, please let me know in the comment section down below. I love reading what you guys have to say. And then, uh, and again, huge shout out to Extreme Arc9 for uh, giving me a bit of advice with the thumbnails and helping me out with that. And last but not least, if you want to see more Pokemon Glaze coming your way on this channel, please click that subscribe button down below for me, you guys. And on that note, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.